Hey guys, I uh, just want to make a new video here. Uh, made a split phase inverter, and uh, it's not real strong. I mean, these these little amplifiers I picked up from a guy for like ten bucks. They're out of a out of a some car. I don't know what car it was, but they're only single channel amps, uh, audio amps. So what what I did was to make it a split phase inverter. All you have to do is step the voltage up. The voltage coming out of these guys at max is about 20-ish volts. So I run it through this transformer here, and this is a 110-volt uh, uh, to 460 uh, step-down transformer. But I'm feeding the, the 20 volts through the low side and coming out the high side with, with the voltage that I want. Actually, you know what? I think, yeah, they they put out about 20 volts a piece. But what I did to make it a split phase is I use a function generator. I have one on the left, one on the right. And I put my phases for ch left channel, right channel, uh, 180 degrees out of phase from each other. See, at 60 hertz. So this is going to be a pure sine wave split phase inverter. I'll show you how it works. Uh, I'll show you a demonstration here. So now I'm putting an output 60 hertz, 180 degrees out of phase, left and right channel. So let me go ahead and turn it on. And now you'll see a voltage over here. I'm monitoring the AC output voltage, overall AC output. This is my battery voltage I'm monitoring here. This is a battery uh, I made in the previous video. Uh, so let me go ahead and crank this up a little bit. So you, to, to raise the voltage, you just use the, the volume. See, now, so 20 volts each. These guys have no potential between each other because they're 180 degrees out of phase. So these two wires could act as the neutral. Then you'd have your L1 and your L2 for your split phase. So now I'm at 20 volts output. So I'll go ahead and raise that on up. And you just ra increase the volume to raise the voltage. Which is good because th these aren't going to uh, throttle up to accommodate your load like a normal inverter would do. So you'll have to manage that manually. So here we are. Here's a 15 watt light bulb. And see the volume, the, uh, the overall voltage drop down to 90. So I'll go ahead and turn on this 90 watt bulb here next to it. And you see the difference, the voltage drops. So then you increase the volume. And there we are. And the voltage isn't great, but I'm trying to use a voltage on my battery that's equivalent to a lead acid, so you can see that this, this can be done with anything. This is actually a, a uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, so it charges up much higher. But I'm just let, doing this for demonstration purposes. Now if I turn off the 15 watt, see the voltage jump up. So this is what I'm talking about. You'll have to you'll have to use the volume control to throttle the voltage. So if I turn off everything, let watch the voltage jump. See, so we're at 176 volts AC. Now if I was to turn on this 15 watt bulb right now, I'd end up burning it out probably. I mean, uh, we'll see. Well, it's pretty bright, but it only went down to 150. So yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. But in a pinch, if you don't have a split phase inverter, if you're interested in building one that's going to run a continuous load or, or to even uh, uh, run lights or something like that, you know, some kind of a continuous load, uh, you could do this, set your volume to the appropriate level, and then you'd be fine. And these aren't even getting warm, I mean, not even a little bit. The main thing, too, is the transformer you use. It needs to have uh, approximately the ohms in the coil that you're connecting to that they're happy with. Since these came out of a car, uh, car amplifiers generally like somewhere between 4 and 6 ohms. So this transformer is a 5 ohm, uh, there's a 5 ohm resistance in that, in that winding. So that's working perfectly for these things. They're not, they're not even the least bit warm. And I was just running, you know, over 100 watts off of it. And these are probably only, you know, 40 watt amplifiers. These are the ones that come inside 
the car built in from the factory. So they're, you know, they're not very high wattage. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to show this to you guys. I want to share it with you so you can see what I was up to. And I haven't made a video in a minute. But that's it. Thanks for watching.